I'm doing three-fourths an ounce of lemon juice, three-fourths ounce of rich agave simple, half ounce of aquafaba, which is an egg white substitute made by uh, soaking chickpeas in water and then using the brine from that. Now I'm gonna use rye whiskey, one and three quarters ounces, and then I'm gonna hit it with a little Benedictine, little less than a quarter of an ounce and a little more than a bar spoon. I'm gonna cut an orange rind for the zest to shake. Hit it with a little bit of bitters, two dashes of Ango, one dash of Jerry Thomas, and then I'm gonna give it a dry shake. Just like with egg whites, you want to foam up your cocktail prior to adding ice and diluting it. So think of when you make a meringue in cooking, it's the same principle in cocktails. All right, you feel it expand in the tin, pull it off, you see foam, you're ready. Ice goes in your tin, and now we're ready for that shake. Ooh. Perfect. Now, just like with any egg white cocktail or lemon citrus cocktail, you're gonna double strain. Now I'm going to add a half ounce, little shy of a half ounce of dry red wine. I'm using a Spanish dry red wine. You can use a Petite Syrah, Syrah, Malbec, Pinot, anything you'd like. Beautiful. Now to cover my exit wounds, or track marks as I call them, I'm gonna cover one side with a little bit of Razo Al Hanu, which is a Middle Eastern baking spice, a little savory, a little sweet, kind of like allspice. This is Hit the Road Jack. 